instance. Then the second very important uh, standards commission was International Electrotechnical Commission, which is the world's leading organization that prepares and publishes international standards for all electrical, electronic, and related technologies. The CE is different uh, compared to uh, this because it's a compl compliance standards produced by this IEC. And close to 20,000 experts from industry, commerce, government, test and research labs, academia and consumer groups participate in IEC standardization work. Now, IEC Technical Committee prepares uh, these international uh, standards, which are essential tools in the fight against e-waste. This is a very, very, um, uh, you know, primary priority for this uh, IEC Technical Committee while aiding manufacturers to meet legislative requirements on toxic, toxic substances control. Since its creation in 2004, the IECTC has published a number of crucial international standards relating to the environment. It is preparing for a future where recycling in a circular economy could well become the norm while recovering the rare earth metal, a process known as urban mining, may become widespread because urban mining means uh, you know, the day and day, how we are going to spreading, we are going on spreading the, um, you know, urbanization by removing the trees. ETEC is another wonderful platform published by International Electrotechnical Commission covering the news on IEC standardization. Okay. And this, uh, this ETEC, uh, you know, is a platform for uh, regular updates and interviews which explore diverse areas including major energy, major environmental uh, susceptible technologies like power generation, transmission, distribution, renewable energy sources, energy storage, public and private transportation, information and communication technologies, smart grids and smart cities. So this entire, that's the reason why this IEC uh, becomes a very important standards organization when it comes to protecting the planet. So before they can even think of recycling the various materials they use in their goods, suppliers need to know because it is essential and report the substances in their products so as to conform to various pieces of legislations that exist across the globe. For this, I've just only taken a few uh, standards. Uh, IEC 62474 is a, a group of standards which establish the requirements for reporting the substances and materials included in electronic and electrical products. As you will see, e-waste is going to be the major hurdle, major problem in the years to come. And that's the reason why they have taken care of these standards uh, to take care of these electrical and electronic products. Similarly, IEC 62321 family, which defines standardization methods for determining the levels of potentially toxic substances in electrical and electronic products by using various methods of measurement. But this is how they have uh, defined. And IEC 6243 is family of standards, provides guidelines for minimizing the adverse environmental impact of devices throughout their life cycle. If a particular uh, device is there throughout their life cycle, how it is going to affect the environment. That's what this family of uh, uh, standards decide. So this pub the publication defines environmentally conscious design for all electrical and electronic products. For instance, which materials are used, the quantity of energy consumed to make them, as well as their rate of recyclability. Because if you see, if you see the solar energy, we all talk about solar energy as a green energy. If you consider the amount of energy, primary energy that goes in, in making a, uh, a silicon cell, in, in making a glass uh, panel on it, in making an aluminum frame, in making steel frame, both in windmills, the amount of steel that is required to make the, uh, you know, uh, the large uh, or high uh, windmill. If you take the primary energy into consideration, if you still think in terms of absolute energy, uh, it's really a big question mark whether we are really uh, or whether all these technologies are really energy efficient. Anyway, that's a different field of study altogether. That's exactly what is the, the quantity of primary energy used to make them also a very, very important factor in considering. That's exactly what these IEC standards define. 